TBI Year One News with Rafia Begum. Good evening. DT and geography are an essential part of learning at TBI. Our correspondent Viv Evans reports on what children will be learning this term. In geography this term, children will be leaving their classroom to explore their local area. They'll be finding out what they eat and where food comes from. Children will be investigating the work that people do in shops, as well as finding out where people shop and why. Children will get to go to barley lands where they'll be grinding wheat to make flour and using that to make their own pizza dough. How very exciting. Let's take a little walk to discuss what children will be learning about in DT this term. It has been reported that Children will be working with fruits and vegetables. They'll be tasting, smelling, and even exploring the textures of the fruits and vegetables. That's me, Griff Evans, giraffe class. Over to you, Rafia. once a week at TVI. Children will be discussing the key features of what makes an old and new house. James McAvoy has more. Well here we are down the famous Bastable Avenue where we'll be learning about history this term. In the beginning there were old houses and over time they evolved. Children will be learning about the differences between old and new houses. As well as learning about different household items that were used in the past. But we need to consider, are they really that much different? How has Barking's houses changed over time? Children will be finding out answers to these very questions this term. This is James Tapsell McAvoy, Zebra's class, Thames View Infants. Oh, we seem to be having a few technical difficulties with this umbrella there. Joining us now is Susie Waters, a leading literacy expert. Susie, how are you? And can you tell us what books we'll be reading this term? I'm fine, thank you, Rufia. This term, the children will be reading Silly Sally, Ten in the Bed and Grandpa Grandpa. All very exciting texts. And what are we looking for in a child's piece of writing at this time of the year? Well, the important things are, as you can see here, is capital letters, full stops at the end of sentences, Letter, tall letters need to be tall, as you can see here, and small letters, small. Also, it's important that we have clear finger spaces between the words and that the writing is on the line. And what are the common errors that we are seeing in children's writing at this time of the year? Things that children are doing commonly are large full stops, looking like footballs. Sometimes, their tall letters are not tall and their small letters are too tall. Also, mixing up B's and D's. And last question, what can parents do at home to support their child's writing? If parents want to support their children at home, the best thing that they should do is read every day with their child. It's also a good idea to practice all the words in the yellow word book that's been given at home. And if they see their child writing, help them to sound out words that they don't know Thank you for taking the time out for talking to us, Susie. Moving on now, in maths this term, children will be reading, writing and ordering numbers up to 20. They'll be adding two and three numbers together. They'll also be measuring length and height. In 
art, it's all about printing, colour mixing and experimenting with paint. Oh, we have some big news coming in. There seems to be some excitement at the chicken coop. James McAvoy is live at the scene. James, what can you tell us? Thank you, Rafia. And yes, it is very lively down here in the chicken coop as we have just been told by our sources that the children will be learning about living things and visiting this very chicken coop this term in science. And that's not all. Children will also be exploring their senses, learning about many parts of the human body, as well as learning about the changes when we grow. What do you think about these exciting topics this term? Back to you in the studio. Wow, sounds like there's a lot to look forward to. Thank you, James. Now for the weather with Susie Waters. That's the weather we'll be wearing jogging bottoms or shorts for PE this term. Thank you, Rufia. Well, up here we have a t-shirt for gymnastics lessons inside and games lessons outside, as well as the t-shirt for inside that will need shorts for the pleasantly warm hall. For colder times outside, make sure there are jogging bottoms in the PE kit as we go outside for games all year round. Whatever the weather, your child will need plimsolls. Here's a reminder of all the Year 1 PE days. And that's all for this term. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care.